Hi, I'm Diana Farid. I'm a doctor and I like to write and to tell stories. And some of my favorite stories are about how our bodies work. Today, I want to share a story with you about the air and where it goes when we breathe it in. It can feel good to take a deep breath. Have you tried that before? Let's try it together. Ready? Take a deep breath in and let it out. Do you know where the air goes inside of you after you breathe it in? One of the first pictures that I saw of where air goes after we breathe it in looked a little bit like this. This is a picture that I drew of a place called the lungs. And that's where air goes after we breathe in. Does it remind you of anything? What if I turned it like this? Now, does it remind you of anything? I think it looks like a tree. This part looks like a trunk and these look like branches and the tips look like leaves or fruit. Now you may be wondering, is there an upside down tree in my body or is there an upside down tree in your body? And no, there is not an upside down tree in our bodies. But sometimes when we think of something that we already know, it helps us know more about something new. Inside of us, air has an amazing adventure. First, it goes into one strong hollow tube. And then it goes into two branches, a right one and a left one. And those branches branch into smaller and smaller tubes about 23 times until air reaches the very tips of the branches. And when air reaches the very tips of the branches, it reaches millions and millions of tips, many more than what I've drawn here. And then something amazing happens. That air that we breathe in gives our body energy. The energy that we need to laugh and to jump and to think and to feel. Then air travels back up the tubes for us to breathe out. You know what is just as amazing as where air goes when we breathe it in? It's that we do it without even thinking about it. That's called a reflex. We breathe in and out about once every five seconds, even when we're sleeping. Before I say goodbye, I wanted to share one more thing. Some of you may be seeing more people wearing masks that cover their nose and mouth. Some of those masks might look a little bit like this one. Do you know why people wear masks sometimes? Well, sometimes the air gets dirty with something that might make us sick. And someone might wear a mask to block the dirt from getting in. Sometimes people wear masks to help keep the air that we all share clean. Your favorite adult can let you know if it's safe to wear a mask and it's important to listen to them. Well, I had fun sharing the story of air, breath, and the lungs with you today. Maybe next time you see a tree, it will remind you of your lungs and the special place that air goes when you breathe in and out. 
I will see you next time.